Uh, so, uh, little statistical information. So, we had 23 oral presentations, uh, six, uh, 13 uh, posters, and also there was a uh, rather nice field expedition yesterday at, at the afternoon. So, we, uh, well, a a a and as you see, we cover rather wide um, spectrum of the problem, academical problems from really pure mathematics, from physics to chemistry and engineering. Uh, certainly it means that it's not easy to follow all the lectures for everybody, but it's difficulty, but also it's certainly our advantage. So we want to be broad and with focused around the porous medium. And I think we have s still some challenges in the future because we have to also try to decrease the gap from academy to industry so this is always our problem so if we succeed to decrease this gap I, I, I really don't want to uh, make this gap zero but just making it smaller it would be really nice okay um, so uh, First of all, I would like to uh, thank all the participants, all the lecturers for their, uh, for their, for their participation and, and the interest. I, I really liked uh, the lectures and the discussion that we had. I hope you also did. Uh, well, also th thanks for the scientific committee. Well, I, I should also mention um, the fi uh, financial support, uh, of course, so the big part of financial support was from IMPA. Uh, then also we had the financial support for CAPIS, from FAPERGE, and also Interpol also gave some support f that went to support students' participation. That's it, and uh, mm, a very special thanks to our team from Fluid Dynamics Laboratory that made it happen. Essentially, the most of the work, the technical work, how to organize everything, which is which went rather unnoticed. And I think that this is a main main uh, advantage. Its main property, and if it went smooth and unnoticed, this is main quality of the work. So I, I would like to thank. Uh, Anki Telis, Sami Vaish, and Guilherme Goddard. So please, please, please. Uh, uh, so they really did. Yeah. <laughs> so, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, please, 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 please. please. Yeah. Yeah. So, so they, they really helped to make it so nice and smooth. So that we actually, we reached the end. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, so with this, we've finished this meeting, and uh, I would like just to say a couple of words about the future. So first about the next meeting, and second about Interpol. So I think Marcio can tell couple something about the next plans. Fe uh, well, fe thanks uh, very much. I first of all I'd like to give my Congratulations to 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 Alexei and and Dan, uh, especially for this chapter. This chapter here in in Brazil was one of the first chapters there. They are now uh, there are some other countries now that are open new chapters like France and others, and I think the chapter here was one of the first ones. No? So I think it's a very interesting idea. And uh, we are planning to do the next meeting at WellNCC in the city of Petropolis, 2018. So mostly, roughly speaking, we are planning to do these meetings every, every two years. And we are trying to focus on the period of, the, of um, vacations there in Europe and, and, and also US such as the months of June or July or, or, for instance, August, which I think that is more easy to bring, bring people here. You know? 
So, so this is the idea, and uh, my my personal opinion is that we shall go to some more m multidisciplinary uh, uh, things, try to bring people from, from some other fields also. I think there are, there are new fields, like for instance the fields of uh, uh, renewable energy, like solar, like, 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 like wind energy, which there, there's a lot of applications of flow, flow in power's media there too. At the meetings of, of the Interport, they have these this, this sessions, which is in these special topics. For instance, one of the topics that is growing a lot is the topics of flow, of, of flow batteries, which is, which is a very important topic. And, and, and then, unfortunately, uh, Brazil does, uh, still don't have uh, a policy to choose what are the special areas that the government wants to fund, like, like for instance, like for instance, the strategic areas where we can go go forward and build teams and and, and then w w work m together. So my 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 main idea is to try to bring some more people from 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 some other fields and try to build a very very multidisciplinary forum in this next meeting. So this is what I'm thinking. So I so I like to share to share this with you, and see what what uh, what's your thoughts on this. Maybe maybe perhaps Dan wants want, wants to say a few words about that. <laughs> and uh, and also one thing that I like that I, that I like to mention is my it's my. Personal example. Now we are working with the pre-salt. No, it's very difficult for just one group to solve the uh, pre-salt problem. There is a lot of issues which involve uh, geochemistries and physics and math, and so it's very important that we can. I mean, my uh, personal experience on that, we have to to to, to solve this real. I mean, this big problems and these 3D problems, which has which have a lot of physical issues there. We must work as a multidisciplinary team. I think it's very important. There is a lot of things on geochemistry that, that I don't know, so I have to talk to some other people. There's a lot of other issues too. And uh, so if we can, like in these meetings, we can bring some more people from, from some other fields, I think there's the chance that we can grow uh, together and try to move very slowly to, to some real applications. This, so, so this is my thought. So, thank, so, so, so I like to to also invite you to come for this next conference. We we don't know the uh, time yet, but certainly will be something in the summer in the U.S. and Europe in 2018. Thank, thanks very much. Thank you, Marcel, very much. Uh, so, uh, just a final uh, notice is that, uh, as Marcel mentioned, that we have the Interport chapter. Well, this implies that we have kind of a membership uh, in our chapter, which automatically gives the membership of the Interport society. This uh, gives uh, different advantages, uh, also for especially for young people. So, in um, respect of international collaboration, sharing the news and uh, participation in, 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 international, um, in international meetings of, of Interpol. So we will um, distribute the email on this topic maybe in November so with, with the details. So everybody is uh, very much invited to participate. Uh, and also, uh, there is an uh, Interpol meeting every year. So the next meeting in uh, 2018, uh, 2017 in this case, will be hosted by uh, Technical University of Delft. So in May, next year in May. So everybody is also very much invited to submit and participate. And uh, well, and with this, I thank everybody Again, for the participation, uh, have a good trip home, and so let's thank everybody.